I'm going to talk about normal probability plots. Normal probability plots will tell us whether our data is normal or not. So we're going to take our data and we're going to plot it on a normal probability plot. And if our plot is roughly linear or approximately linear, then we can say our data is approximately normal. If our data is perfectly linear, then we would say our data is perfectly normal. So to get your calculator to do these normal probability plots, you first got to put your data into the calculator, and we'll do that by doing stat, and then edit, and then you will enter your data set. Our data set is over here. We've got 5, 5, 6, 7, so we would enter 5, 5, six and we would just keep going like that once your data is entered then we'll do the stat plot so we need to turn the stat plot on and we'll also need to select the probability plot option to turn the stat plot on and view stat plots we use second and then the y equals key which above that it does say stat plot and then all of our stat plots are currently off we're going to turn the first stat plot on, select enter to edit that first stat plot, and see how the cursor is flashing over on. To select it, all we need to do is press enter, and then it will turn from off to on. And then another thing that we need to do is to choose the normal probability plot option. This over here is a picture of our options, and the option we want to highlight is the normal probability plot. It's right under the histogram. So we go and we select the normal probability plot and we press enter. That will change our options. We want our list to be L1 and we want our data axis to be X and Y, X representing our data. And then we want to graph the plot. And we could just press graph but I think to zoom in on the data, the best option is to choose the statistical zoom option. So we can press zoom, and then option 9, which is the statistics or the stat plot option, and we will see all of our data. And you'll notice that the data does go in a linear fashion. So we can say that our data is approximately normal.